Hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. I am going to share with you, and I'm not a haul fan at all, but I did pick up a couple of things this week that I want to share with you. And I also want to talk to you about skin care scams. Scams, hocus pocus. Is there really a miracle product out there? So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hey guys, thank you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I was on Facebook and on Facebook, and I know many of you follow uh, Pen, Pen, um, Penny Smith, and she's um, she does skincare, and I will link her channel below. But anyways, Penny, her channel has grown amazingly. She's got I think over a hundred thousand subscribers now. I mean, it's awesome. But she is just a a beautiful YouTuber, and yes, she's younger, but she gives the most amazing skincare advice. And one of the things that I was reading, or her group in Facebook, was the difference in products you know, that you can get in, in Europe and um, that you can get here in the States and, and all of that stuff. So it brought to mind, when I was watching and listening to that, it brought to mind a conversation I had with my mother. My mother's 92. And, you know, my mother has, I think she has amazing skin, especially for the fact that she's 92 she's gone under a lot of stress since the end of September when my dad got very very sick in and out of the hospital but my mom is his main caregiver and at the same time my mom takes care of the yard as much as possible she's very much into the garden into the flowers and all that and one of the things that she's always talked about was and I remember this growing up now yes she wasn't a sunblock fan at all but she used to talk about her skincare and all she ever did was she would wash her skin really good like with dove soap or something of that nature usually it was dove and then she used Nivea now I know I'm pronouncing it wrong probably anyways this brings me to Penn Smith because this is what they were talking about particularly this because if you buy this in Europe overseas you get a different level of ingredients than if you buy it here in the States. So my mom has always had her cream sent to her from Germany, from family and friends over there. And people that have gone to visit, they always send her the Nevea. And she loves this stuff. This is all she's, you can see mine has, well I don't know if you can see, but mine has a significant amount missing. But this is all she ever used to use was put this on her face for moisturizer. Now, I use this for my hands. I use this for my body. I don't put this on my face. I find it to be too, you know, too heavy for my face, for my skin. But reading, reading the Facebook page and the posts and all that and my mother and, you know, we all, we all want to believe in the in the ads. We all want to believe what the manufacturers and the advertising gurus are selling us, including YouTube gurus. We want to believe that we can achieve the same results using the same products. And it doesn't always work that way. Sometimes it is totally hocus pocus. You know, sometimes you spend a whole lot of money for stuff that's very similar. Like this is a very expensive cream that has almost the same ingredients. Not quite, but almost the same ingredients. That's like I don't know, eight times the amount of money or something like that. But anyways, I know we all want to believe in that. But skincare, you know, is it all hocus pocus? No, it, it, I don't believe it really is all hocus pocus. I do believe that skincare can be very, very, very basic. It doesn't have to be super expensive. It, it doesn't have to be. Whatever you use to wash your skin, whatever you use to exfoliate your skin, to me, that's the most important thing. Washing, getting the dead skin off so that you can regenerate your skin, if that makes sense. You want to get the dead skin off and then you want to protect the new skin. So to me, washing exfoliation, 
I do use a toner, but I use all different types of toners. I am not hung up on one particular toner. Sometimes it's glycolic, sometimes it's a witch hazel, sometimes I've got a ton of, it's it's a ton of snail. I mean, I've got a ton of different toners and essences and whatever whatever works for you, whatever you want. I do believe you have to, to get some moisture in your skin and get a good balance. So for me, wash. And I have been using an oil-based cleanser. I've already talked about that, I think, in my previous video, so I'm not going to go back in there into that. But I do like the Open Formula products. I think they are extremely affordable. And I've been using that oil-based cleanser, and I've been using their, their powder exfoliation. Uh, and, and, among, among, and some other products as well. So whatever you use does not have to be costly and I know there are some people that say it has to be medical grade it has to be this has to be that but to me and it's it comes right down to the basics of what my mom said wash your face you know make sure your skin is clean and then moisturize that's all she ever did all her life and she didn't even use a lot of sunblock but me I wash my face I exfoliate I then want to use some sort of a toner just to balance and then at that point in time during the day it is going to be sunblock and I'm gonna have a lot of sunblock and then whatever you know whatever makeup but at night it's my retin-a and I think my retin-a has been my tried and true um, if there is if if there is any holy grail in skincare for me it's retin-a and I know not everyone can use tretinoin but you have to use a, a different variation whatever you can use for a tretinoin something that is going to help with your skin over time. I'm going on four years. August will be my fourth year anniversary. And when I started this, I was thinking, you know, I was 62. I was thinking, it's too late. I can't tell you how many people ask me, is it too late? I have, I have people leave me comments, they're in their 20s. I'm just starting Retin-A. I think that's awesome. Anyways, four years in August for me and I will do an update video I know I'm kind of behind on that but to me this is the only thing for me that's tried and true and thankfully and this is not for everyone but thankfully I can get mine very affordable overseas using the reliable RX pharmacy in India yeah everyone's gonna have a different expectations and then my Olay eyes this is another example of products that are similar in the States but different ingredients overseas my Olay Pro Retinol Eye Treatment. This is what I use every day on my eyes. Do you have to use this? No, there are many other eye creams you can use. And some people don't even use eye creams. I mean, before I was using any kind of eye cream or any kind of retinol around my eyes, I was just using a light moisturizer. And I would bring my Retin-A, and I had the weakest one, 0.25, and I would bring that up pretty close and down my neck and into my decolletage. So, you know, whatever you end up using is okay. The whole point is that is whatever it is, as long as you use it consistently, I think you'll get results. I think the people that expect results overnight, they're in for a big disappointment because it doesn't happen overnight. So hocus pocus skincare, you know, all of that stuff. I try not to spend a whole lot of money on it. Yeah, I get products sent to me for review uh, and then I bought products over again after they've sent to me like for example the open formula I love their their line um, I've I bought Saturday skin I happen to like Saturday skin a lot I, I've bought those I use rosehip seed oil and I end up using the ordinary or the time not the ordinary brand of the rosehip seed oil and I go down my neck almost use this every day so there are, stuff, there are things that you can do for skincare that obviously don't break the bank. So, that said, I don't think it's Hocus Pocus at all. I don't think it's Hocus Pocus. Um, my hauls, I ended up buying off of Amazon these headbands, these bandanas. They're, they looked so pretty on. Uh, I really liked them. I thought they would be really cool in the summer. I got like six of them. The others are out in the motorhome. I don't have them in here. I got like six of them, but I'll tell you, I must have a really fat head because these are tight on my head and after a while, the, the, it's the pressure. So I got all these bandanas. I'm going to keep trying to stretch them, but they're not, they, for me anyways, they haven't been, they haven't been super comfortable. They haven't been super comfortable on at all. So the other thing too is 
was it last week? Oh my God, I ended up going to Kohl's. And I bought a couple of things in Kohl's. I bought, let me show you. I, I don't even know. This is a Elizabeth and James. I consider this to be a sack. Yeah, it was expensive sack. But I consider this to be sort of a sack bag. Because I have like a big bag briefcase that I carry my laptop in and then I have a smaller black little bag that is like I just hang it over my shoulder. It just has my wallet just big enough for my phone. I still like to have some of my makeup, my cosmetics. I still like to have other things with me and I don't like to put them in my briefcase. So I got this. I just thought it was it was super, super cute. I really liked it. It was expensive, without a doubt, but it's, it was big enough for me to put in a couple of things, like my cosmetic bag, because that doesn't fit in my in my regular bag at all. And you know, and I have to, I still want to have my cosmetics, so I have to carry that in there. My camera goes in here, a couple of brushes, and if I want, I can put my wallet. It came with another little uh, a little compartment, but most more importantly, this is just I think comes in different colors, Kohl's, you know, you get a, you have a coupon, no kind of a shape at all, just a very much a sack. It kind of reminds me of when I was a teenager, young adult, I always used to like those hobo, I used to call them hobo type bags, I don't know, over the shoulder, you know, stuff like that, not very constructed, doesn't have a ton of compartments, folded up like this. I love this. So I got this. I was debating between the black, but somehow this color, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Somehow this color just kept calling my name. So I had the black in my, my cart, and then I went back, and I grabbed this one, and I put the black one back. And I, I love it. It's just like, it's like the cutest thing. So I fold it up. I can put it in my big bag with my computer, or I can carry this. I can carry it in the store if I want. I can take out my smaller bag that has my wallet. I can do pretty well anything that I really want with it. I love it. I think it's so cool. I also bought, while I was there, two tops. I'm not a fashion person. But, so these were just, these are chaps. And I like them to be big and flowy. And oversized. But I just thought these, this was such a pretty design. Kind of like like when I used to wear the long skirts and I used to have the flowers probably in the 80s away in a little bit I just really loved it it's oversized you, you can strap a belt around it if you want you can tie it up you can pin the front a little bit longer in the back I bought two the pink one I've worn the black one black the black one I have and I still have the tag on but I absolutely love it I'm gonna I'm certainly gonna keep it I'm not returning it I just haven't worn it yet so I haven't pulled the tag off I love it. I just think it's really cool. So that was what I ended up buying in Kohl's. A little bit of a Kohl haul and I just I thought it was really cool. Now I saw on Natalie the Beauty Diva's channel she had done an Amazon haul and she did it in collaboration with Jennifer Love. Jennifer Love's? Jennifer Love. I can't remember. Where is it Jennifer Love's? Jennifer Love. <laughs> I can't remember. Anyways, and Jennifer had shown a bunch of different Amazon outfits, as had Natalie. I watched both their videos, but one of the things I did buy was this particular top. I am not, I don't normally wear a lot of the cold shoulder tops. I have some, but I don't normally wear a lot because I just feel like my arms are so fat. I just feel, I feel a little, sometimes I feel self-conscious in it, but I really like this, and I know you can't see it. This is sort of long and black, and I love this little crisscross. And the back is just very plain, but it does have the cold shoulders. And it's, a th what is it, a three-quarter? goes down a little bit below my elbow. And that's my preferred type of a sleeve. So anyways, I said, I'm going to get this. So I ordered it. I watched the video. It came out last Saturday. I had this in the mail Monday morning. I couldn't believe it. So I knew when I was going to shoot this video, I was going to talk about this. So I ordered two other things but this was the only one that has come in so far so i really love it i thought that was super uh, super cool the other thing that i got this was actually sent to me you guys know that i have been really trying different mascaras and all that i am actually still using my the mascara i got from city beauty 
The more I use it, the more I love it. And many of you know that I'm a It Cosmetics. I love my superhero. More often than not, I always use my Essence. Well, I've been also using an Ulta mascara. I've been trying that. But this was actually sent to me from the Octoly Network, from Clarins. And this is their Wonder Perfect Mascara 4D. Look at the... Look at the I just think this is the cutest little container. So I haven't used it yet. I just got it in. I'm going to open it up because I really like the brush. And I, I am going to use it. I think this is, I think this is going to be really nice. Jay and I are going camping and we're going up to Booth Bay Harbor, Maine. Yeah, glamping, I should say, right, with the motorhome. We're going up to Booth Bay Harbor, Maine. And this is coming with me. I'm going to try it in Booth Bay because it might be near the water. And I don't have a whole lot of waterproof mascara. But this is waterproof. This was sent to me complimentary from Clarence. It's their 01 Wonder Perfect Mascara 4D Waterproof. I believe this is in the shade Black. I'll let, I'll let you guys know how I like it. But, you know, mascara is in me. Yeah, I'm always, always loving to try new mascaras absolutely loving to try new mascaras so i kind of feel a little guilty for having gone shopping but this is the first time i've been in a store other than running into the grocery store on a quick trip into walmart to pick up essentials i went into kohl's <laughs> i picked up essentials not that i really needed it <laughs> i hope you guys are all well thank you so much for hanging in there with me today and um, looking at my little haul I think this, this, I can't, I'm so surprised at how well this top fits for Amazon. I'm going to order another one in a different color. That's how much I like this top. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.